Welcome to Carolyn Bell Yoga. This class today is called Fill Up Your Heart. It's a heart, heart opening strength practice. You will need a block at the beginning of the practice. So find, if you don't have a block, you could just find anything to support your back like in a bridge pose. Uh, there's an Indian spiritual leader named Sri Sri Ravi Shankar, and he said, healthy is being physically strong, mentally calm and steady, and emotionally soft. Think about that. Physically strong, mentally calm and steady, and emotionally soft. We need to learn to nurture ourselves. So often in our world, there's, uh, there's just so much going on that we don't take time to nurture our own heart spaces. We need to fill up our own hearts in order that we can connect with presence and give to others. This practice today is working on the solar plexus. The solar plexus is two inches above the navel. It, put your hands right in that area. It's a tangle of nerves right behind your stomach and in front of your heart. And it's connected with your sympathetic nervous system. This is a center of energy in the body. You can also feel a lot of muscles in there. This is a place of our, our personal power, of self-belief, and self-worth. It's important to strengthen those things within us so that we know who we are. We, we can connect to our own hearts and then find that area of service that we can give and share with others. So sit in a comfortable seat. We're going to do a meditation here. You can either soften your eyes and look down to the floor or close your eyes. Make a special effort to bring kindness to yourself into your meditation today. Relax the body. Let the mind be at ease. And bring to mind someone who cares for you. This could be a, someone who is living or who has passed in your life. A family member, a good friend, or a mentor. Picture this person standing behind you are standing in front of you, offering you phrases of loving kindness, or just sending out those beautiful feelings of love. Perhaps this person puts their hand on your shoulder, giving you support. Life brings us so many challenges, and we need to have a strong center core in order to handle those challenges. Feel and receive these beautiful feelings of love. Now picture another person who cares for you someone living or past, a family member, a good friend, or a mentor. Receive wishes of well-being, care, and love. Breathe them in. Breathe in these feelings, these well wishes. We 
receive them into your heart space. Receive them into your mind and physical body. Now bring a third person into your mind who cares for you, who offers you words and feelings of kindness. Accept all these well wishes with an open heart. Bring your own gentleness and care into your experience. Nurture this patient kindness that is within you. And just sit for a moment with an open heart. Breathing and receiving well wishes, love, kindness, compassion, and support. Receive, nurture yourself. Fill up your own personal cup. Acknowledge feelings of, of self-worth, of love, kindness, and compassion. Feel the love. Bringing the hands to heart center. Acknowledge that we need to nurture ourselves to fill up our own hearts in order that we connect, can, in order to connect with presence and to others. And now opening your eyes, find your block. We're going to put it on our mat. And go ahead and, uh, well, actually, let's put our back on our mats first. Hang on to that block for a moment. Let your back ribs settle down. Let your feet connect to the earth. I want you to find that sensation of grounding here so that you can draw the energy up from the earth. Close your eyes, connect to your breath. Inhale and exhale. Place your hands two inches above your navel into this space under the ribs and above the navel your solar plexus. Use your fingertips and just press in here a moment and feel all the muscles. I know you have them. You practice yoga, you have good core strength. This is the area we're strengthening today, as well as the back ribs. So move your attention to the back ribs for a moment. I want you to draw those shoulder blades down and intentionally strengthen the muscles around the back ribs. Now strengthen the solar plexus and together we will work this area as we practice yoga today. So when I say solar plexus, you know where that is. Back ribs, you know how to draw the ribs down and support the torso. 
And now, finding your block, you're going to lift the hips up and place the block underneath your tailbone so you have a supported bridge. Now drop the shoulders back. And once again, we're going to strengthen our solar plexus and engage the back ribs. If it helps you to close your eyes for a moment while we figure out what we're doing today, I'd like you to do that. Solar plexus strength, strengthens, engage the back ribs. And now, bringing the right knee into the chest, just pull it in. Squeeze it in. Straighten this leg. Perhaps interlace the fingers behind the hamstring. Don't let your belly go. We're going to hold that solar plexus strong. Continue with the back ribs, strengthening. And then lengthen the right leg all the way down on the mat. Inhale and exhale. Feel the strength, the length, the opening of the heart. Squeezing muscles to the bones of the right leg. The, even though you're strong in the body, your uh, breath is still able to freely move. So draw the breath in, move it down into the lungs. Strengthening solar plexus. Inhale, soften and release. And now bend the right knee again, bring it into the chest. Keep a strong core. Keep those shoulders supporting the heart. It's almost a back bend here. It is a, a small back bend. And then step the right foot down. Now bring the left knee into the chest. Strengthen the solar plexus, the strong core of the body, and then support with the back ribs. It gives you a slight arch at the back. Maybe you need to lift your, your chest up and drop your shoulders down again. Inhale and exhale, straighten the leg. Interlace the fingers behind the leg. Inhale and exhale. Stay strong. And then release that leg, lengthen it out as you drop it down long on the mat. Inhale and exhale, open the heart space, drop the shoulders back, support with the back ribs. Let's extend both legs straight. So now you have a, a bridge Position, a long, low bridge. Inhale and exhale. Strong back ribs, lifting. Maybe you need to lift and tuck the shoulders again. Strengthen your abdominal range, your solar plexus. Pelvis is open, breath is moving, body is very strong in this position. And then walk the feet back up the mat, you have bridge. Take the block away. We're going to slowly lift the bridge up. Maybe step the feet back so you can reach the heels, tuck the shoulders, 
Support with the back ribs. Strengthen the solar plexus. Tuck the shoulders again. Support with the back ribs. Lift up. Strengthen the solar plexus. Pushing into the feet will get you to a deeper arch of the back. Inhale and exhale, and we're slowly coming back down. Bring the knees into the chest. Nose to knees. And then rock up so you can partially straighten the legs, sitting up. And step back into your plank pose. So push with your hands and step back into plank. Strong plank. Drop the knees down. See if you can find that straight line from your knees through your body to your shoulders. Pull in your solar plexus. Try a chaturanga halfway down and up. Another one. Halfway down and up. Just wake the arms up. Halfway down and up. And then go back to your plank. Lift the heels up. Moving the top of the head forward towards the end of the mat. Drop the knees. Drop the chest. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Plank pose. Strong core. Inhale and exhale, halfway down, up, downward facing dog. Five breaths here, inhale and exhale. Four. Knit the back ribs in, three. Two. And one. Right leg lifts, three-legged dog. Bring the knee into the chest. Nose to knee. This is gonna, going to be a frequent move today, so find it, get strong position. Step the foot forward, you're in a low lunge. Inhale and exhale. And then push into the hands, sweep the leg back. You have one-legged plank. Three-legged dog. Knee to the chest. Step the foot forward, low lunge. One-legged plank. Modify as needed, drop the foot down or knees down, chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, Anna Mukha Shavasana. Left leg lifts. Squeeze the muscles to the bones. Bring the knee into the chest, inhale. Exhale, step the foot forward, low lunge. Inhale and exhale, one-legged plank, three-legged dog, breathe. Bring the knee into the chest, squeeze. Step the foot forward. Pull the foot up, one-legged plank, chaturanga, modify as needed, up dog, down dog. Inhale and exhale, breathe. And then walk or float forward, so look forward if you want to float, bend the knees, give it a little hop, or you could 
Walk to the front of the mat. Vichanasana, forward fold. Ardha Uttanasana, lift the heart. Opening the arms as you rise, inhale. Ardha Hastasana, Samasitihi, hands at heart center. See your Namaskar A, so it's just a simple flows, simple sun salutation. Inhale the arms up, exhale, fold. Inhale, lift the heart, bend the knees, step or float back, plank, chaturanga, upward, urdhva mukha shavasana, up dog, adha mukha shavasana, down dog. Inhale, exhale, walk or float forward, fold. Inhale, lift the heart. Open the arms and rise. Hands at heart center. Tadasana, mountain pose. Again, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, float back. Chaturanga, Oops. up dog. Down dog. Float forward, fold, lift the heart, rise, hands and heart center, Tadasana, mountain pose. Inhale and exhale, find your center of balance, engage your solar plexus. Knit the back ribs in here as well. Opening the heart space, giving your body much support. So your Namaskar B. So we'll start with Utkatasana. Option is hands at heart center. Breath is flowing continuously through the practice, through the body movement. Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, lift the heart. Bend the knees, step or float back. Plank, chaturanga, up dog, down dog. Right foot steps forward, angle the back foot. Virabhasana one, warrior one. Inhale and exhale. Find your plank, chaturanga, up dog, down dog. Left foot forward, your one. Breathe long, deep breaths. Inhale and exhale, find your plank, chaturanga, up dog, down dog, float forward, uttanasana, fold, ardha uttanasana, uttanasana chair, rise, samastitihi. Let's flow through that again. Inhale the arms up. Chair pose. Uttanasana fold. Ardha, lift your heart. Place the hands on the mat. Maybe float back to Chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. Vera one, Vera Jasana one, angle the back foot, arms up. Focusing on breath, strength, fluidity. Vinyasa, or you could stay in down dog. We're working on strength building. 
That's what the sun salutations do. Left foot forward, angle the back foot, Vera one. We pause, we breathe in energy, strength. Take a vinyasa. Step or float forward. Uttanasana, fold. Arda, lift your heart. Ukatasana. Rise. Samastitihi. Padasana. Let's move through that one more time. Flowing and breathing. Inhaling the arms up. Katasana right here. Inhale and exhale. Fold. Inhale, lift the heart. Ardha Uttanasana. Plate the hands. Float back. Go right to Chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. Right foot steps forward. Angle the back foot. Barrow. Drasana one. Three breaths here. Inhale and exhale. Take a vinyasa. Always think about keeping those shoulder heads down and protect your shoulders. Up dog, down dog. Left foot forward. Angle the back foot. Bear one. Inhale and exhale. You got this. This is where most of the chaturangas are today. The beginning of practice. Downward facing dog. Bend the knees, float forward. Uttanasana, fold. Go as deep as you can. Inhale, lift the heart. Ukatasana. Urdhva Hastasana, reach up. Samastitihi, hands at heart center. And Tadasana, mountain pose. You feel the core strength here. The solar plexus is drawing in. Just engaging those, that, those abdominals around the rib cage. And the back ribs hug in, supporting and opening the heart. Find your way to downward facing dog. Inhale, we'll flow that way. Exhale. Inhale, lift the heart, and then just step back, downward facing dog. Breathe. Right leg lifts, three-legged dog. Bring the knee into the chest. Hold it strong. Extend it back up, three-legged dog, and release down. Left leg up, three-legged dog. Bring the knee to the chest, hold it strong and breathe. Three-legged dog, and release down, hop forward. Uttanasana, fold. Lift the heart, Ardha Uttanasana, go right to chair pose, hands at heart center. We're twisting to the left, inhale and exhale. Go back to center, twisting again to the left, inhale and exhale, strong core. Hold the, knit the 
abdominals into the ribs. Back to the center. Inhale and exhale to the left. Once more, strong core. Don't let the belly just hang out. Hold it in. And then Uttanasana fold. Move the head around. Shake the tension out of the head. Lift the heart. <clears throat> Katasana chair pose, arms up. Hands at heart center. Strong core strength. We're twisting to the right. Knit the ribs. Turn back to center. Inhale and exhale, twist to right. Think about in, um, extending on the inhale and twisting on the exhale. Inhale, extend, exhale, twist. Bring the arms back to center. One more, inhale and exhale. Twist, extend on the inhale, twist on the exhale. Return to chair, arms up, Uttanasana, fold, uh, release the back of the legs. And then bending the knees, hands are down. See if you can lift up the right heel. Can you lift up the right foot? Release, left heel up. Lift the foot up. Release, see if you can do a little running motion here. Right, left, right, left, up, down, up, down. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And then float back to plank, chaturanga, up dog, child's pose. Anytime you need to get a drink of water, just grab one. And then Adho Mukha Shavasana, Downward Facing Dog. Right leg lifts, three-legged dog. Bring the knee to the chest. Lower and lift three times. So drop the knee down. Pull it up. Three, two, one. Step the foot forward. Drop the back knee, Anjane Asana, arms up. Now place the thumbs underneath the arms, lift the heart space up as you're arching the back. Lift, 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 and then reach back. Keep the strong back ribs to support your back bend. Keep a strong solar plexus supporting the heart, the middle core of the body. And now bring the arms down to the mat. The back leg lifts. Inhale and exhale. Nose, knee to nose. So squeeze the left knee in, contract, and then lift. Contract three times and lift. One more. Breathe, contract, and lift. 
step back, plank, chaturanga, or you could rest or just go right to downward facing dog for the other side. Long deep breaths. Release tension. One more long deep breath. Left leg rises. Bring the knee to the chest, nose to knee. And then lower three times. Three, pull it up. Two, pull it up. One, pull it up. Step the foot forward. Find that point with your eyes for your foot to rest. Drop the back knee down. Anjane Asana. Arms up. Open heart. Strong back ribs. Strengthen the solar plexus. Place your thumbs underneath your arms and lift, lift, lift. Bring your arms back. Sweep the arms forward, plant the hands, standing splits. Knee to nose three times, three, lengthen, two, lengthen, one. Lengthen, optional vinyasa. Step back, plank, chaturanga, up dog, down dog. Right leg lifts. Bring the knee to the right arm. Lift. To the left arm. Lift. To the center. Let all your air out. Reaching the foot forward. Angle the back foot. We are dressing it too. Inhale and exhale, lengthen and strengthen. Straightening the front leg, reverse triangle. Here are two, go back. Extend a side angle. Reverse warrior. Reach back. Elbow to the knee, a modified bind. So place the right hand on the belly. And then the left arm wraps around the back of the waist. Inhale and exhale. Maybe go deeper into the front knee. Strong core. Knit the back ribs. And then warrior two again. Windmill the arms down, find your low lunge, and then back leg lifts. Step back, downward facing dog, and breathe. Three more breaths, three. Hug the upper arms in towards the ears. Internally rotating the biceps.
all of the techniques that we work on are protecting your shoulder girdle. Very important. Left leg lifts, inhale, bring the knee to the left arm, see if you can touch it, contract that solar plexus, lift the leg up, bring it underneath the body to the right arm, contract the solar plexus, lift the leg up, bring the knee to the chest, nose to knee. Now step the foot forward, angle the back foot. We are drawing the two. Straighten the front leg. Reverse angle right here. Slow breath moving through the body. Bear two, bear of drasana two. Elbow to the knee, reach overhead, extended side angle. strong in the core as you reverse the warrior, <clears throat> reverse warrior. Elbow to the knee, let's find the modified bound position with the left hand on the belly and the right arm, arm wrapping around the back of the waist. Keep your chest facing that side wall. Strengthen the legs. And now rise with strength in the core to warrior two. Back arm comes forward, hands down, find that lunge, and then standing splits. We're gonna, going to just hold it here for a moment, reach that nose toward the knee, lift that back leg up as high as you can. One more breath. Optional vinyasa, or you can go right to down dog and hold. Right leg lifts, three legged dog. Bring the knee to the chest. Step the foot forward, drop the back knee. Anjane asana, arms up. Let's reach back, see if you can bring the palms together. Knit those back ribs so you find the strength in the core. And then bring the hands to heart center and twist. We're extending on the inhale, twisting on the exhale. Inhale, extend, exhale, twist. Inhale, extend, exhale, twist. Anjane Asana, arms up. Hanuman, Ardha Hanuman. Inhale and exhale. If you want to try full Hanuman, just straighten the legs and go into some kind of modified split. Breathe. Breathe again. Tuck the back toes under, slide this 
Front leg back. Three like a dog. Bend the knee. Kind of give it a little shake, a little kick. And then bring the knee, right knee to the right arm. Maybe straighten the leg, maybe not, doesn't have to. Step back, take a vinyasa or rest. Downward facing dog. Left leg rises, three-legged dog. Bring the knee to the chest. Knit those ribs in. Step the foot forward, drop the back knee. Inhale the arms up. Try to bring the palms together. As the back arches, you knit the back ribs in for support and you strengthen the solar plexus. Inhale and exhale, prayer twist. Here we want to lengthen in the spine, inhale, exhale, twist. Lengthen, inhale, exhale, twist. Lengthen, inhale, exhale, twist. Release on Janae, and then bow over the front leg, Hanuman. Optional, full splits, do what you can do. Inhale and exhale. Breathe again, and one more breath. Tuck the back toes under, three-legged dog. Slide that leg all the way back, lift it up, bend the knee, and give it a little shake out. Bring the knee to the chest, to the arm. Maybe straighten that leg. Step back, take a vinyasa, child's pose. Whoa. Arms are getting tired. Drop the knees and rest. We're going to swing the legs around. Sit on our bottom. Thinking about the work that we've done as we lift up into bridge. So on the back, Sachi Bandas, Sarvangasana, reach for the heels. Get those, walk those feet as close as you can to the hips. Now knit the back ribs in. Strengthen the core, lift the hips up, and then slowly begin to rise to your bridge pose. Getting, moving to the top of your shoulders, continue to knit the back ribs and lift the belly up. Knit the back ribs, lift the belly, push into the feet. You get the deepest, most beautiful arch of the back for your bridge pose. Now slowly release the air and drop back down. Bring the knees to the chest. Release again, drop the feet down. We'll try it again. Curl the tailbone up. Begin to lift the pelvis, support with the back ribs, and let the belly rise. Think about the back ribs the whole time. The strength and support here is where the beautiful back bend 
will occur. Inhale and exhale, lower everything down just like you're letting air out of a balloon. And then bring the knees back to the chest. One more time, drop the feet in, curl the tailbone up, begin to lift slowly and rise. Now engage the back ribs. Lift the belly, open, 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 lift, rise, support. Inhale and exhale, slowly let the air out of the balloon and descend. Knees to the chest. If you like nose to the knees, I think that feels good for the lower back. You can certainly do that. Let's try low boat. Now, rather than looking at the toes, I want you to look at the sky. So extend the legs slowly out. The shoulders are up the, off the floor. Look at the sky. Strengthen the solar plexus. Knit the back ribs. Do you feel the difference? Your strength, your core, and then release, bringing the knees back to the chest. All right, you have an option. You can do a couple more of those low boat practices, or you can quickly go to the wall, and we're going to do our handstand lifts. But as we do it, I want you to take note. It's uh, as we lift up, you're going to be bending one knee, the bottom knee. So we're not going completely into the handstand. I want you to keep one knee bent. So place the mat perpendicular to the wall. Find the firm hands on the mat. Look at the mat. Step your, you might try which kicking leg is better for you. My left leg actually is my better kicking leg. We're kicking up and then just bend the right knee. Try that three times. If you can hold it, hold it. Try the other leg three times. That's all you have to do. And then go back to your mat, resting on the back. Knees to chest, spinal twist. Extend the right leg straight, take the left leg over. Roll to center, switch the legs, take the knee across. Roll to the back, happy baby. Full body stretch. And find Shavasana. Open the legs and rest on your mat.
as you rest in Shavasana, I would like you to surround yourself with those who offer kindness to you. Let someone that you love from the past or the present stand at the foot of your mat, at the sides of your mat, at the head of the mat. Let their love and kindness surround you. May they offer you compassion today. Continue to rest for five or ten minutes in Shavasana. And then as you finish your practice, roll to the right side and slowly sit up for a moment in seated meditation. In closing, I offer my kindness to you, my compassion. We are still journeying through a difficult time in our world. May you know that I love you, that we are truly connected in our hearts. Namaste.